Here comes Australia to play New Zealand. Go, go, go. That was amazing to clear that ball like that. And here is Stowers. Ten metres out, Lamb battles to the line and goes all the way. Oh, expertly done there by Pio Chuai. A demon. Sometimes you have to put your foot on it, but you have to control it. Andrew and one day failed on that occasion. Back there, there's Patrice Ogunda, and uh, didn't have much choice really but to uh, send it on its way. It's not a bad kick either because Kalinisau has to shape up. And Oscar Uma giving chase. Will the bounce be kind into the Fijian 22? Oscar Uma tries to push uh, Benito Masilevo out of the way, but good support running. Well, from end to end, and what did I say? The Kenyans, they never give up. Agunda floats it out, but again, it's those uh, long levers of Pure 2 I Lovely hands from Pure 2 I The pace here of Setefano Thakau will be lying his age, it's certainly the replacement in under the post, and that seals it surely now for the Fijians through to the Cup semi final. Setefano Thakau. Nicely into the hands of uh, Dan Bibby. Burgess again, careless, really chance now. Trainer. Oh, there's the try. This must be Sean White. His first of this event. Picked up beautifully there by Trainer. The lovely out the back pass. Rodwell gets it into the hands of Mitchell, the captain, Dan Bibby. Now, Marcus Watson has gone away. And he's got North. Surely it's going to be no problem for England. Dan North gets yet another tremendous ball and try. Lovely into play here and will the try come yes it will for brett thompson the impact of danny barrett look at this step back inside carl brown that created all the uh, opportunity here oh the ball flies over his head and sibella sanatla needs to have his wits about him to uh, snap up and recover does well the way he goes uh, up onto the uh, usa 10 meter line neat little chip infield will get there first it's werner cock if the bounce is kind and the uh, south africans are back in the lead so we come to cup semi-finals here in tokyo Sherwin Stowers again, Mickelson gets his first touch and he's in beautiful form at this tournament. Look at this, the big Fijian speedster Samasani very, very could not catch the New Zealander DJ Forbes. Look at that, pulled away one hand by Mickelson. Heem, heem hard to the 22. McKenzie. The captain going for the corner. The captain gets two. Oh, 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 oh. oh look like it could have been a forward pass, but uh, no matter. It's game on. And this is the one that's going to tie it up. Bulletin.
these two teams are desperate to make their final play against Fiji. Congratulations to them as well. Well earned, well deserved. This should be equal to what we've just experienced as well. A penalty. Here's Chris Dry. He should get there as he held up. I'm not sure. I don't think so. Time back on. That's a try. Well, it's always been close between England and South Africa. 56 times. England at 26 and South Africa have lost, have lost 30 times. Oh, it's picked up and it's gone away. And the try is absolutely crucial. Well, they're suggesting that he's knocked it forward, but let's have a look. Here's the pass from Hedolt. Comes forward off his leg, so that's good it for is, fair enough. So here he comes to build up from the back, but he's pushed it into a bump and run, and his speed is being used again. He got two tries to start the semi-final against New Zealand. He's down heavily. Let's see if he gets up. The game goes on. The action's still running hot. Very, very out wide to two wide. He takes the tackle of the South African captain, Brown. Very, very. Oh, two brilliant tries early for Fiji. Fast hands away. And they match both Brent and Dupre match and wide out and Dippin' out. <laughs> nice work by Two Y, and here's Moleboro. We know about this guy, and he's made a beautiful run, and away it goes to Masalebu. And here comes try number six in an action-packed first half. And Fiji come back. My word, what a game this is. So this new kid off the bench, 20-year-old, makes the start at Clever Switch. This is one that practiced a lot. Phillips Neyman, was that a high tackle? I don't know if it was from Ratambuli. The referee has his hand out, though. The bump and run. It's all over. It's over. A wonderful moment for Japanese rugby and a great moment for the Fiji Sevens. Look at the change at the top. South Africa have gone into the lead on the World Series table with three events to go.